हे हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज सागर प्रजापति एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पाइस पार्क सीक्वल क्वेश्चन व्हिच वाज बीइंग आस्क्ड इन वन ऑफ द इंटरव्यू रिसेंटली सो बिफोर गोइंग टू द वीडियो आई विल लाइक आई वुड टेल यू व्हाट इज द इनपुट एंड व्हाट इज द आउटपुट सो इफ यू कैन सी हियर वी हैव दिस टेबल और वी कैन से दिस इज अ सीएसवी फाइल एंड दिस इज द डेटा हियर एंड वी हैव दिस आईडी नेम एज एंड मार्क्स कॉलम इफ यू कैन सी हियर इन आईडी नेम एज कॉलम्स are being uh, separated by comma okay but in marks also we have a different separator called pi now we need to convert we need to transform this data set into this if you can see this here what i have done i have written 1a 1a 20 and then i divided i segregated these marks 31 32 34 on basis of uh, pi okay right so that's that's what i have done it and this is the first output which, which we need to find out and the second output is we need to add these 31 32 34 as as a row in a row okay so if you can see for this id 1 and name a and h 20 we have uh, three rows okay because if you can see this all are same but i segregated i divided this 31 32 34 on basis of uh, uh, pipe on row level okay likewise we have to do for id 2 likewise 3 and 4 so if i open my uh, if i open my database you can see here i have uploaded this file with the name multiple sap.csv if i run it then you can see we have the output like this now what we need to do first we need to upload we need to uh, you know we need to uh store this data or we need to fetch this data so what will i do i write here df dot df is equal to spark dot read dot csv and i will pass over here this okay just run it do df dot show you can see we have this output here what i need to do i need to write header to to include my headers correct now you can see the uh, the output right till now is like this but we need to what we need to do we need to segregate this also so if if you write here option option separator then it will not work okay it will not work mm hmm okay it will not work so what we can do is instead remove this line instead of right uh, you know uh, comma separator and then create a new data frame called df1 and write df dot with column okay column name is let's say physics and here i will write i will write i will use split function okay so i use split function inside this i will write df dot marks okay and then i will write here pipe and then what i will do i will show this df1 you can see now this physics uh, you know this physics uh, uh, column is converted into a list but in this physics column we need only first index value so i will write here zero okay likewise what i will do i will copy this paste it paste it change the index to 2 change the index to 1 change the column name this is chemistry chemistry and the last one is math and that's it let me run it now now if you see we have everything is sorted but we are getting this marks column also we do not want it so what i will write i will write drop 
top df dot marks. That's it. Okay. So this is the first output which we wanted to show. That is done. Now we will work on this output. If I go back, I will copy this line again. Okay. And what I will do, I will write df2 is equal to df dot select. I will write here uh, ID comma name comma age. Okay. And let me just show df2 for now. You can see we have ID name age column. That's good. Now I will use here explode function. Okay. And here I will use a split. Inside this split function, I will use df dot marks and separated by type. Now run it. You can see for this one 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 a a a twenty 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 we have thirty one thirty two thirty four. Likewise for two is also same three is also same four. Now if you want to you know if you want to rename this then you can rename this also and yeah that's it so i hope you understood this concept so this is the basic concept uh, of you know how can we how can we split uh, split a data set using a split function and using a stored function and then this is also the first one of the you know most important question which was recently asked so here the question was you know we have given uh, a two a two separator in one in one data set so we need to segregate data based on two separator or delimiter so that is the you know that is the question i hope you have understood this video if you do do like and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited okay so yeah that's it for today's video